race one here at Barcelona got underway. Tremendous style indeed as well, but until we got down to turn one, we saw certainly a calamity of sorts. Almanor racing, unfortunately, coming unstuck. Albert Costa right in the fight as well. Unfortunately, well, he managed to dodge and weave between that of, that of uh, uh, Charlie Fagg in the very early stages, but the car's getting collected in the early stage. We'd see, uh, of course, the, uh, the Optimum Motorsport McLaren out of the race at the very beginning. We saw some tyres as well. Albert Costa trying to charge his way through the field after losing places early on. Unfortunately, then, being slapped with a five-second time penalty after the collision with Andrea Monsimini from behind. We then, of course, saw another collection heading down through towards Turn 1 as well. Unfortunately, Marco Polcini, they're in the Pro-Am title fight, leading the way coming into this weekend. Pietro Pirolini also coming unstuck on that occasion. In they came for the driver change periods as well. And of course, we witnessed that of Pierre-Louis Chauvet taking that early lead at the very start. More battling further on is the Elite Racing Audi that was right in the midst of all the scraps as well. Of course, Carol Bash getting uh, certainly hindered earlier on in the race after that battle at the very start that would cause the collision, uh, making their way through turns one and two. It was a very, very important race as well for the Bernaldi team who were looking to bring themselves higher and higher, but it would come unstuck here for Nicola Rossi, who would try and right the car himself, bringing about the safety car. We got back underway in green flag conditions, and it was all down to Christopher Haase. After the driver change period, he managed to bring the East Talent Audi team right to the top of the classification, eventually coming home, taking the chequered flag, and an important first victory for the East Talent Audi team. Oh, it's